let me share my screen. All right, can you see it? Okay. Yes. So thank you, Adriana, again. Thank you to the organizers. And uh, I'm sorry for this uh, spacey background. I couldn't deactivate it. So I'm going to discuss the last installment in a long um, uh, series of research papers. And this last uh, project was done in collab collaboration with many people in, uh, in Bocconi. You see them in these pictures. So let me start with uh, stating some basic um, heuristic facts about the lost landscape of neural networks. So neural networks are highly non-convex, non-trivial uh, function. The lost landscape, so in principle, could contain many local minima, some of them low high-line minima, some of them low-lying or global minima. So in principle, optimization could be very, very hard, but in practice, it is not. You start from some random initial configuration and you, you apply your simple gradient descent procedure and you go down in the lost landscape to the bottom of the, uh, of, of the lost landscape itself to low, uh, low loss configurations. Also, you can uh, actually initialize again your training dynamics, start from another initial uh, random configuration, and you will find yourself ending up in a different final configuration, again with low loss. And surprisingly, you uh, also find out that you are able to connect uh, through a low loss path uh, each pair of solutions your, uh, your algorithms are able to, uh, to reach. So essentially you have a unique connected bottom uh, in this uh, lost landscape, which has a lot of valleys, a lot of canyons. And uh, but any, anyway, there is a unique uh, and uh, uh, tentacular uh, minimizer. But not all of the regions in this, uh, in this uh, flat bottom are equally good. Some of them generalize better, some of them generalize worse. Other features are that um, you can make some archi architectural changes uh, to your models. You can, for instance, add skip connections or you can use different loss and activation and you can obtain drastic changes in the, in the landscape. For instance, here you see in a model with uh, uh, no skip connection, so no residual connection that you see in the uh, left pictures, you, you have a, a very rough landscape. While if you add a lot of skip connection, you, you get the very nice, very smooth landscape you observe on the right. So uh, also there are some training choices that you can do. So using dropout or which, uh, or different learning rates or different batch sizes for SGD that may uh, lead and may, may drive your training dynamics towards different type of, uh, of minimizers. So not all of the minima are created equal. Some of them are uh, better than others because some of them are uh, are are better at generalizing, which is what really matters, generalization. So what we want to uh, to achieve is to connect some uh, geometrical properties of the training loss landscape to generalization performance, and our argument is that flatness uh, around the minimizer. Is, is what can guarantee you some good uh, generalization capability. So in order to uh, define um, a, a measure of flatness and also some uh, objective function which uh, enforces flatness in the uh, final minimizer obtained, we define the uh, local entropy function, which is defined in the equation that you can see and that essentially says that a configuration of weights w as a low local entropy loss if and only if 
it is surrounded by configurations which have low loss, uh, at least within a certain radius, which is uh, connected to this parameter gamma that you can, you can tune. And in this picture, you see that starting from some rough, um, rough landscape represented by this uh, gray line, and then applying this uh, local entropy construction, you achieve a much nicer, much smoother uh, objective function whose minimizer essentially corresponds to the position of the flattest minimizers in the original loss. So this is a, a good uh, uh, surrogate function for, for optimization. And in, in a series of work we showed on, on very simple models using uh, replica theory that uh, um, a, a low uh, local entropy loss, so minimizers uh, of the loss function, which also have a low local entropy loss, they are, have better uh, generalization performance than other uh, uh, kind of minimizers. And also that architectural changes, uh, uh, such as using ReLU activation instead of TANH or using pro procentropy instead of mean square error loss, can also lead uh, to the emergence of flatter or equivalently uh, uh, lo uh, low local entropy um, regions, which is again good for uh, generalization. And this could be uh, no rigorously, but analytically uh, uh, could be shown in the, uh, zero in the layers and one in the layers neural networks. But now let's uh, move to um, the stuff, to the new stuff we have been uh, doing in this uh, last work. Consider a mixture of binary, uh, uh, a binary mixture of Gaussians. So where you have a collection of data points, each data point belongs to one of, or of two classes. So you have class plus one, where, so where this sigma label is plus one, and the data point is generated uh, as a perturbation around the, an, uh, a true signal booster while data points of class uh, minus one are generated as perturbation of the signal minus d star. This is how you generate two sets of points. And then the task is a classification task, meaning that you have to um, classify each data point according to the correct class. And uh, we use a linear model, so we use a perceptron for this uh, classification task. So the prediction from the perceptron is just given by the weights um, of the perceptron, W, so a uh, dot product with the, with the input. Then you apply the sign operation and you obtain the predicted label. So um, what people uh, more specifically, Mignacco, uh, Giacala, Lu, and Zeborova obtained uh, uh, the rigorous result they obtained for this model is that when you train uh, the, the, the classifier using mean square error or logistic loss, and you, and in addition to that, a uh, L2 regularization term you can, uh, by minimizing uh, this convex uh, objective function, you can obtain the Bayesian, uh, a pointwise estimator, which also achieves Bayesian optimal error, meaning that you cannot do better than that. And, uh, and you obtain this uh, Bayesian optimal estimator by taking the infinite limit of L2 regularization, which is kind of weird because you are uh, also shrinking the, the norm of this classifier uh, to, to be zero, since you're applying infinite uh, regularization. Uh, well, the problem with this um, approach is that it's not very general. I mean, we here we are, um, in the end, our classifier 
uh, and the way it classifies the inputs is not norm dependent. It's just a sign of a, a scalar product, so that doesn't depend on the norm of W. And the same goes for deep learning architectures with RELU activations. The predictions from these architectures do not depend on the norm of each uh, 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 layer. So we would like to uh, achieve, uh, to find such optimal, uh, such, such optimal uh, classifier bypassing the, uh, the need to constrain the norm or to pushing them to zero. Okay, so what we do is to apply our um, local entropy framework. I don't, I want, I don't wanna go into the, the details of that, but essentially we, we can take the, um, the, the same minimizer as the one obtained in, in this paper and then compute the local entropy of this minimizer. So essentially, essentially measure the flatness of the landscape at different distances d. And in this case, you find that the, uh, the uh, classifiers, which are also the, the better are generalizing, are also the ones with the uh, 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 a much flatter uh, local entropy curve, which, are, which means they belong to flatter minima. So essentially we, we, we found another criterion which leads to Bayesian optimality, which is more general than the, the, the norm regularization criterion. And depends of course only on the training data. It's something you compute and you can optimize based on the training data. Um, this is this. These were analytic results that we again obtained through replica method. Now I want to discuss discuss some algorithmic results that uh, we obtain on deep learning architectures. So we have this local entropy framework, and we want to uh, uh, obtain some um, efficient algorithm to achieve local entropy optimization. One of such algorithms is entropy SGD, which has been introduced in this paper, and is based on the observation that the gradient of the local entropy is just given by an expectation of the uh, weight, weights you are considering minus this other set of weights, Y prime, and this Y prime is averaged according to essentially the measure contained in the local entropy definition. So this is a thermal average. And this thermal average can be approximated by stochastic gradient uh, Langevin dynamics. This is what the authors of that paper did. And in uh, our work, we fine tuned and we scaled out the algorithm and applied it to state of the art um, architecture. Another algorithm we use in this, in this work is uh, replicate SGD. The, um, maybe I don't wanna, I don't wanna um, go through the details. The division is not uh, hard, but we don't have much time. But essentially this algorithm uh, is a simple cooking receipt, which states take your original loss function, ma make multiple copies of your system, and then uh, consider the, uh, um, a loss function for this uh, replicated system where you just sum the individual loss function and then you also add the coupling term among the replicas. So you have uh, each replica essentially is coupled to the barycenter, this W bar, the barycenter of this replica set. Once you uh, define um, this replicated loss function, well, you just apply any uh, optimization procedure you like to, in order to optimize it. And this again, this uh, again is a is an algorithm which um, enforces uh, the fact that you end up into uh, uh, minimizers with high local entropy, uh, and so we in flat minimizers. So we have two very uh, simple algorithms. 
sorry, I'm just checking the time because I'm not sure how much time I've left. You have a, a, a minute roughly. Okay. So, okay. So we have two algorithms. We apply on some state of the art uh, convolutional residual uh, uh, networks and uh, where essentially we uh, implement the, the baseline from some paper and then we, uh, on top of that, we apply our replicated SGD or our entropic entropy SGD procedure and we consistently manage to outperform the, the baseline with our, let's say, entropic uh, algorithms. And then we also uh, check that the, um, the, 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 the minimizer we found are, uh, are also, uh, besides generalizing better, they are also uh, uh, effectively uh, within a flatter uh, region. They belong to a flat uh, minima. And we do that by um, implementing another measure of flatness, which is uh, easier to compute than uh, local entropy. So everything is consistent and uh, essentially it seems that uh, flatness leads to good generalization and entropic algorithm uh, lead to flat minimizers. And essentially this is all I uh, wanted to say. Thank you. Well, thank you, Carlo.